Hello everybody, Chris here again. Uh, I was going to talk about this uh, 252E clone, uh, Bukla clone, not really a clone, um, reimagination, let's say, because um, I have actually still never seen one live. Um, but um, I was going to talk a little bit uh, about how I did it, um, and it's actually almost ready. Uh, there are a couple of things I haven't done, and a couple of errors on the circuit board that I uh, would probably have to respin another set of PCBs in order to uh, fix. But um, so far so good. Um, I was going to show you a little bit uh, where I'm at. So before we move ahead I was going to show you a little bit of the back side. Um, so here uh, we have uh, motherboard, I.O. board, or actually clock input, output and two um, other boards and there's a TNC uh, 3.6 and a VFD display and underneath here we have uh, the multicolored LED but let me show you the circuit boards first so first up is the LED circle <coughs> um, which has uh, 100 and what 92 LEDs, um, two millimeter RGB, basically in a long, uh, in a long array actually. Um, so that they're they're individually address addressable. Well, so I'm I'm just treating it as a as an array that is then divided up into all the rings. So with this, I laser cut something like this, which is um, acrylic. Um, I don't know how thick. Um, I did two of these um, with black acrylic and then I put them on top of this after putting the um, LEDs on and in the top one I took the cutouts of one I made with the white uh, acrylic uh, and punched the white acrylic pieces into the top black one. Um, oh, that's probably this. No, they are all of them are different. So, like that, <coughs> and that would act as a diffuser. Um, so these sit above that with a blocker underneath, and then this, and then one disc to uh, uh, a small colored acrylic that I also cut out uh, with a laser cutter and that makes of course the uh, the full LED ring and then on top of this sits like that and on top of this sits um, actually on the bottom because it's all flipped around sits the motherboard uh, and then on the other side sits the um, um, all the clock board and then on this side sits some button board and these are of course connected with uh, regular uh, IDC connectors and the clock and then finally the uh, output so these are the uh, circuit boards Oop. let's see if I can zoom out a little bit can't really see the camera here Anyway, so so it's not a particularly complex build. The um, most of the problem was, of course, laser cutting this, soldering uh, 192 two millimeter four lead RGB LEDs, and a bunch of capacitors on the back. wasn't incredibly fun, um, but this this thing and getting that together and getting it to stick and getting it enough to warp and stuff like that that was uh, a little bit of a hassle, but it turned out pretty well. So here we go, this is uh, now inserted into my system, let me uh, turn it all on. And there we go, it uh, starts up with a um, ring 4 there, um, set for uh, one red, one green and one blue um, uh, cell, and uh, just a gate pulse in each. Uh, and I have attached uh, red, green, blue and a subdivision, these are gate outputs and then CV outputs for uh, uh, four channels. And uh, let's just play this and see what it sounds like. So 
So this is now just playing the three gates. So uh, that works pretty well. Um, actually, that works very well. Uh, we also have a subdivision. Uh, so if I go into edit mode here, we see my uh, the cursor here, which is where I'm uh, currently working. And this is done while it's playing. So you see the white cursor is playing, and the white blinking cursor is the edit cursor. So uh, if I, um, on this first red, I can press this button here to get um, between one and seven subdivision pulses out. So if we do two, we see the subdivision outputs. I'm gonna blink twice, because now we have two subdivision pulses in this cell. I uh, can switch to the next cell and do, let's do three. And then why not one, two, three, four. And then the um, the the this cell subdivide uh, knob here tells me uh, how the the pul the subdivide pulses are distributed within each uh, um, w within within the cell. So so for example, the the three subdivided here, we can pull them towards the middle. towards the end. Or just all the all the way through the uh, through the cell. Kinda like at the middle. And then we can go to another and do two more here. But maybe pull those towards the end as well. So now it sounds like it goes together with the uh, first red. So remember, this is still only one one ring of four steps um, with the three gates being played here, and uh, one clock controlling this. So it's a super powerful sequencer. And um, I also, of course, have uh, implemented MIDI here. So if we uh, Attach a MIDI cable like so and go into setup, which is load and save together. We can set the clock source up there, internal MIDI or clock in, which is clock in for each. Uh, but MIDI here, for example, and save that. And now I just started a drum machine and it starts and stops the uh, sequence. Errors. So uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about the behind the head here, which is uh, basically swing implemented. Uh, so if I uh, create six uh, pulses, like that. Now with this uh, uh, knob here, I can, uh, on the cell that I'm currently editing, I can tell it to go either before its normal time or after its normal time. So you can add some kind of swing to the to the cell. So here I'm going to uh, go late and then early on the next one and then late on that one and then early on this one and late and early. So now every other cell is late and every other is every other other is early, right? So you get this uh, stepping. And we also have a duration for each cell. So if I uh, create a full eight steps here, it starts playing back. These are now playing with 75% uh, uh, pulse width, basically, uh, and the, gate le the length of the gate in each cell. And I can, uh, for each cell, go in and let's make this very short. Uh, this one short as well. So I have two short ones. And then for the third one, I'm gonna make that very long. So long so that there's no, there's no um, gate trigger between the next two cells. And then here, I can make those medium. Like 
that. So a little bit about uh, CV editing, because you know it's a sequencer. Um, we um, if we're going to edit mode here. Let's do uh, a bunch of steps. Um, each of these cells can have uh, can have a uh, uh, so the red. Red, green, and blue are the three different gate channels, and of course subdivision two. But red, green, and blue, and each of these red, green, and blue have two CV channels each, so you can control, um, you know, pitch and velocity or whatever. Uh, or re really, they're they're completely independent uh, voltage channels. Uh, but in this case, um, uh, CV editing is here, and if I press select it highlights the channel that I'm currently editing so I can step through the six different CV channels. So if we focus on the first channel, which is the red channel playing here, if I turn this knob we can see here, right now I'm in note mode, meaning that, and this little arrow signifies the, the channel one, I'm basically stepping through the different notes, and the dash dash means that it will inherit the uh, setting from the previous uh, step. So let's set the first one to C0 and uh, you can move on to the second step and do a G and then the third step and do an uh, F for example and, uh, and now of course these will just inherit what the, uh, the, 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 the F from the previous Set uh, this back to Z. Like that. So that's uh, CV editing in note mode, um, five octaves, C0 to C5. Um, if I press here, I'm in scent mode, so if we look at C0 here, actually. Uh, we can go up start getting out of tune huh up until 50 cents above and then of course it starts with C sharp being 50 cents below So this is how I can fine tune and do other things. Uh, well, now that's a D. If I go down to note mode again, I can set it back to C. So that's basically CV editing. Um, I can control six different CV channels. Um, and yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, let's play a little bit with this. See what we can... Uh, come up with. Let's bring up maybe another clock up to 12 maybe. Um, let's go up here and do a couple of pulses. Like that. A couple of ratcheting. So let's say I like this. Um, I like this. Okay, so let's go into a save and uh, let's save, uh, I don't know, pattern four. Okay, so now if I go in and clear the pattern, uh, nothing is playing now, of course, I can go back in and load pattern 4 
and of course we have a uh, full fi file I/O here now with uh, uh, 64 patterns that we can load and save individually. So yeah, so they're so they're saved uh, onto an SD card on the inside of the uh, machine, uh, and you can of course back that up in the computer if you feel like you want to take that out. So the last thing here <coughs> is the uh, Euclidean rhythm system uh, where we can uh, for each ring let's step up to ring 8 here and uh, do Euclidean and here we hold in red while we drag to see how many steps so between 1 and 8 here so let's do Five out of eight, and uh, let's bring in another clock on let's say ten. Uh, and here we press the green one, so we can do so. It does not incredibly uh, uh, tight or anything, but. But if we go back here, we can, uh, we're going to edit this, so we can take this pulse, for example. It's a little late, so let's bring it in a little earlier. Like that. Steps further ahead. Oh, button again. So now we have a fun little rhythm there, and uh, let's back, get back to Euclidean and bring up the last clock up here to uh, 16 and do. Let's do 8. Ratcheting here as well, right? So let's move those ahead. So yeah, so there, there you go. It's uh, it's uh, it's a really cool instrument for uh, polyrhythms and um, other fun little things. And these are really just gates playing right now. Three different, uh, three clocks driving, uh, three gates, and uh, I guess a fourth for the uh, subdivision. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's about it. We also have the clock system. I haven't gone in through uh, clock in and stuff like that because um, I haven't implemented that part yet. Uh, everything else is pretty much right there. Okie dokie.